Hello dear friends and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's good to see that some of you are actually watching these videos and I thank you for taking the time to do that. I feel that in these modern times people just don't take the time out to listen and reflect on God's word. I was recently blessed in the fact that I was able to find on eBay a church shelter and hymn book from 1864 selling for less than £10 and it helped me to realise how much times have changed in a relatively short space of history. In fact, I would just like to read some of what it says about the Bible. So I hope you enjoy this small piece. O oh, Heavenly Father, Thine eye is upon me now. Keep me from all wandering thoughts while I am in Thy house of prayer. Help me to worship Thee in spirit, and bless to me what I shall hear of Thy holy word. For Christ my Saviour's sake. Amen. Remembering that this was written to be said at the beginning of a church service, it is amazing how true it is of us today, as it was when it was written nearly 150 years ago. Too often, people allow their minds to wander, and just listen to what God has to say for his word, so that we may be blessed by it. Please be sure to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk I seem to be adding new stuff to that site all the time, and I hope that as well as honouring God, it's something of interest to you as well. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Chapter 38 He made the altar a burnt offering of acacia wood. It was square. Its length was five cubits, its breadth was five cubits, and its height was three cubits. He made its horns on its four corners. Its horns were of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with brass. He made all the vessels of the altar, the pots, the shovels, the basins, the flesh hooks, and the fire pans. He made all its vessels of brass. He made for the altar a grating of a network of brass, under the ledge around it beneath reaching halfway up. He cast four rings for the four ends of brass grating to be places for the poles. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with brass. He put the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar with which to carry it. He made it hollow with planks. He made the basin of brass and its base of brass out of the mirrors of the ministering women who ministered at the door of the tent of meeting. He made the court. For the south side southward the hangings of the court were of fine twined linen one hundred cubits. Their pillars were twenty, and their sockets twenty, of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. For the north side, one hundred cubits. Their pillars twenty, and their sockets twenty, of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. For the west side were hangings of fifty cubits. Their pillars ten, and their sockets ten. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. For the east side eastward, fifty cubits. The hangings for the one side were fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three, and so for the other side. On this hand and that hand by the gate of the court were hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. All the hangings around the court were of fine twined linen. The sockets for the pillars were of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver, and the overlaying of their capitals of silver, and all the pillars of the court were filleted with silver. The screen for the gate of the court was the work of the embroiderer of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. Twenty cubits was the length, and the height and the breadth was five cubits like to the hangings of the court. Their pillars were four, and their sockets four, of brass, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their capitals and their fillets of silver. All the pins of the tent and around the court were of brass. This is the amount of material used for the tent, even the tent of the testimony as they were counted, according to the commandment of Moses, for the service of the Levites, by the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. Bezalel the son of Uri the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah made all that the Lord commanded Moses. With him was Aholiab the son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and a skillful workman and an embroiderer in blue and purple and scarlet and in fine linen. All the gold that was used for the work and all the work of the sanctuary, even the gold of the offering, was twenty-nine talents, 
and 730 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. The silver of those who were numbered of the congregation was 100 talents and 1,775 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca a head, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for everyone who passed over to those who were numbered from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty men. The one hundred talents of silver were for casting the sockets of the sanctuary and the sockets of the veil, one hundred sockets for the one hundred talents, a talent for a socket. Of the one thousand seven hundred seventy-five shekels he made hooks for the pillars, overlaid their capitals, and made fillets for them. The brass of the offering was seventy talents and two thousand four hundred shekels. With this he made the sockets to the door of the tent of meeting, the brazen altar, the brazen grating for it, all the vessels of the altar, the sockets around the court, the sockets of the gate of the court, all the pins of the tent and all the pins around the court.